ordinary horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. So you found the treasure, Richie. What makes you think that? Because all of a sudden you're backtracking on your trail. That must mean you're headed home to tell folks. I'll take that map. Get that paper. I was after shooting. You won't get very far with the game leg. Come on. Lucky, Tonto. Just a flesh wound. But it will be painful for him to walk. Other two get away. We go after them? No. This boy is more important. I want to find out why he's been wounded. Let's take him over to his campfire and fix his wound. We heard the shot. We thought you needed help. Yeah, I sure did. Where'd those two Alhoots go? We fired a shot of our own. It frightened them away. I'm mighty grateful to you. I don't get it. Why the mask? I have my reasons. I hope you'll trust me in spite of it. I cannot be a fool not to after you just saved my life. Who are those two men? I'm not sure. They must be newcomers to this territory. Have you ever seen them before? Two or three times in the last couple of days. I don't know how long they've been following me, but they duck out of sight every time I look back. I thought I'd finally lost them this morning. You have idea what men after? Yeah, Indian. They must be after the same thing I was. When I found it first, they wanted to get the map I was drawing. Because they knew that was the only way they'd ever find it. Where is this map now? I burned it. That reminds me, I'd better draw another one so I can turn it over to the proper authorities in town. With this wounded leg, I may not be able to lead folks back to where it's hidden. Where what's hidden? Did you ever hear of the Barcelona treasure? Uh, me here. A million dollars in gold and jewels lost a long time ago, and Spanish wagon train not survive winter. Yes, I've heard of the story. Wasn't the treasure buried somewhere in the mountains near here? That's right, mister. Each year, we stake out a different man from my town to go looking for it. It's kind of a town project. We've even got a committee in charge. We figured if any one of us could find it, we'd all use it to make our town a better place to live in. That's a fine ambition. I wonder why someone doesn't want you to carry it out. There have always been greedy ones who, who wanted it all for themselves. I reckon a couple of them were following me. Why do you need new map? You will not remember where treasure hidden? Just taking no chances, Indian. I've been jotting down all the landmarks, so if anything happened to me, others could follow the trail. You be careful who you tell and where you keep map. If men come after it once before, then maybe come after it again. Don't worry, Indian. I live with my grandmother in town, and there's a nice strong safe in her house. If you don't mind, we'll ride back to town with you. You may need help sooner than you think. Sure, glad to have you. Granny always likes to meet strangers. Though I reckon a mask one will be a new experience for her. <laughs> Just give me time to finish this map. A fine pair you are. You all but have the treasure in your grasp, you let it slip out. Look, boss, you ain't never had a masked man shoot a gun out of your hand before. I wouldn't have been stupid enough to let him catch me off guard. Any idea who this masked hombre was? No. All I know is that he shoots straighter than any man I've ever met. I didn't hang around long enough to ask any questions. You want us to head back to the ranch? Might not look right if we're seen around here. Why not? I'm a respectable doctor. Nothing wrong if a couple of cowhands want to come in and have their health checked. If only you was half as good a doctor as you are a crook. Lucky you're the only M.D. for miles around here. Hell, I may not know much about medicine, but I know enough to fool these local hicks. <laughs> what do you figure Richie's next move's gonna be? Well, you say he's wounded. If I was Richie, I'd make another map to turn over to the Treasure Committee so they could find it without him. Yeah, that's good sense. And if he's made another map, maybe we have a chance to get it before he ever delivers it. You've got to get it. Why do you think I've had you trailing that kid ever since he shot his mouth off in town last week? Well, give Richie a chance to get back to town. If he has made a new map, we can depend on Stella to let us know. So that's why you made her take that job looking after Richie's grandmother. <laughs> why else? When the kid blabbed he had a line on where the treasure might be hidden, I figured we'd better have somebody in his house who could find out for us. You know, Stella. She could wear information out of a rock. <laughs> in a couple of hours, I want you boys to pay a call on her. Now, as soon as you're sure she and the old lady are alone in the house. There we are. 
Are you all comfy now? I'll go warm you some milk. Granny, Granny, I've got some wonderful news for you. Look, Granny, I found it at last. The Barcelona treasure. Isn't it wonderful? After all the years, folks been looking. But I almost didn't live to tell about it. If these two men hadn't happened along. Don't be frightened by the mask, Granny. He's no outlaw. He and the Indian just saved my life. Say, I've forgotten to introduce you. This is my grandmother, and this is Granny's nurse, Miss Watson. Nice to know you, Miss Watson. You too, Mrs. Ritchie. How does it feel to have a grandson who just found a million dollars? Well, she can't answer you. She's quite old and just had a stroke a short while ago. Can't hardly move a muscle since. I'm sorry. I don't think she'd want you to feel sorry for her. Look at her eyes. I've never seen her look sorry for herself. Her oh, eyes plenty bright. Do you think she'd hear us when we talk? I'm almost sure she does. She can't answer back, but well, it's just a feeling I have. Anyway, I always talk to her as if she could hear me. Cleve, what about the treasure? I'm so happy you found it. I knew I was getting close, Stella. Especially when I saw those Spanish symbols on the rocks near Bald Craig. The ones I told you about last week. But you must be exhausted, Cleve. And you can't go back to get the treasure with that bad leg. Can anyone else find it without you? They couldn't, if it weren't for this map. There's a cross maze of about a hundred trails in the area. Most of them look alike. That's why I want to lock this map up tight. I can't have it falling into the wrong hands. I don't blame you. You've been looking for it for a long time. Will you rustle up some food for my two friends here? I'm going out and round up some of the committee to bring back the treasure. If you don't mind, Cleve, Tano and I will take that food later. We'd like to look around and see if we can find any trace of those men who attacked you. It's just possible they followed you back here. Yeah, I'd almost forgotten about them. I don't want anyone taking any more pot shots at me. We'll meet you here in a little while. Goodbye. Come on, Tano. Cleve, wait. What is it, Stella? Please don't take any chances. I didn't know you were so concerned about my health. I've been awfully happy working here, Cleve. And I've grown very fond of... Granny. Just Granny? What do you think? Well, I... I guess I better be going. Take good care of Granny. You comfortable? Now, who could that be? I want you to get some rest now, Mrs. Ritchie. I'll go see who's calling on us. Bert, Chad, you sure didn't waste any time getting here. We waited until we saw the others leave. All right, if we come in? Yeah, but hurry up about it. Where's Jeff? You know he don't do none of that dirty work. Oh, the great doctor doesn't want to soil his lily white hands, huh? So where's your lady? She's in her room. I told her to go to sleep. I'd feel a lot safer if she weren't in the house. Oh, forget it. I told you before, it doesn't matter. She can't talk, she can't move. There's nothing she can do to hurt us. Yeah, I guess you're right. What about the kid? Did he come back with a map? He sure did. It's right behind that picture. Well, come on, open it up. Not so fast. If the safe's open and the map's gone, what am I supposed to tell the kid? Jeff's got that all figured out. The kid returns, finds you lying on the floor, bound and gagged. He unties you, tell him some tough armor you never seen before, busted in and forced you to open it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess he'd swallow that. Well, come on, open it up. Hey, you do know the combination, don't you? After working here for a month, there's nothing I don't know about this house. Then hurry up and open it, will you? I'm not so sure I'm going to, Bert. Why not? Why should I settle for a quarter of the treasure when I can get all of it? What do you mean? Cleve. I've got a meeting out of my hand. Another couple of weeks, I'll have him asking me to marry him. You know what he's planning to do with that gold, Stella? And share it with the whole town. You'll be lucky if you see a dollar of it. Ain't you kind of forgetting Jeff? He's a little sweet on you himself. No. I'm not forgetting Jeff. But he taught me one thing. Always play for big stakes. Right now, I hold all the aces. And that means my price has gone up. I want half of your share. You drive kind of a hard bargain, don't you, Stella? My way or not at all. Well, I guess you win, Stella. And don't forget, any double cross, and I'll be writing the sheriff a mighty interesting letter about how you're wanted for murder in two other states. Here's the map. Now get going. Ain't you forgetting one thing, Stella? We're supposed to leave you lying on the floor, bound and gagged. Go on, get it over with. Sure, Stella. Anything you say.
road to the Barcelona treasure. In a few days, it'll be all ours. And you know what that means. Sure, Jeff, you'll be king of the whole territory. And every man will jump to do what you tell him. You've done a good job, boys. You and Stella. I'll have to see her soon, let her know. There's something we haven't told you yet, Jeff. Meaning what? Uh, you won't be seeing Stella no more. She's, uh, she's dead. What happened? We couldn't help it, Jeff. She got greedy. With note in the safe unless we gave her a bigger share. Did you have to kill her? Yeah, she was threatening to talk, and we figured you didn't want her to do that. We know how you felt, Jeff, but you're better off. She was ready to throw you over for that, that Richie kid. Did she say that? Sure. Anybody see you kill her? Of course not. What kind of fools you take us for? Where was old lady Richie? She was in her bedroom. Nothing to worry about from her. How can you be sure? If you ask me, we should have taken care of her, too. Now, take it easy, Chad. What's done is done. There's no way she can ever tell on you. Doc, Doc Payton! He sounds like Cleve Richie. You boys get in there quick. Doc, come with me quick. Something's happened at home. Stella Watson's been murdered. Stella Watson? Why would anyone want to hurt her? Did you notify the sheriff? Yeah, on my way over here. Please hurry. Have they taken her away yet? No, I'm body gone now. You try and not feel bad. Sheriff say him look for killers plenty fast. I sure hope he gets them. Doc, who'd, who'd want to kill a nice girl like Stella? I wish I knew, Cleve. And somebody wants your map plenty bad if them commit murder for it. Are you sure that's all they took out of the safe, Cleve? Just the map? That's all. I can't figure out how they open it. I'm the only one that knows the combination. You sure Miss Watson not know it? What do you mean by that? You not get angry, Cleve. You only think that if she do know, maybe bandits force her to tell. I don't think she know it. She had seen me open the safe a few times. What about your grandmother, Cleve? Do you think she heard or saw what happened? I'm sure she did. Why do you say that? By the look in her eyes, Doc. Should have seen them. They were full of fear and anger and sort of desperation, like, like, like she wanted to tell me something. What a shame. The one person in the world who might be able to help us and she can't say or write a word. Yeah. She could only talk. There may be a way she can talk. Are you crazy, mister? Mrs. Rich is totally paralyzed. She can't utter a sound. I once knew a man that was paralyzed just like your grandmother, Cleve. He, too, couldn't say or write a word. But after a while, his family figured out a way that he could answer any questions they asked him. He could communicate with those around him. But how? Yes, I'm, I'm fascinated to know how anybody who can't move or speak can still find a way to answer questions. I'll explain to you later, Doctor. Cleve, do you mind if I try and talk to your grandmother? Of course not, if it'll do any good. I wish you wouldn't do this. Mrs. Rich is a very old woman and not too strong. Perhaps I'd better go in with you. No, thank you, Doctor. Too many people might make it more difficult for her. You needn't worry. I won't stay long. Sure, let him try it, Doc. We've got to catch Stella's killer somehow. Mrs. Ritchie, Cleve thinks you may know something about Miss Watson's murder. I know you can't tell me what happened in words, but there may be another way for you to talk about it. I notice you're able to blink your eyes. That means you still do have a voice, a silent voice. I'm going to ask you some questions. You blink once if the answer is yes, twice if it's no. Do you understand me? Good. Now tell me, do you have any idea who killed Miss Watson? Was it one person? Was it two persons? Did you hear their names? You're doing fine, Mrs. Ritchie. Now we're going to find out who they are. I'm going to recite the alphabet. You blink once when I come to the first letter of either of their names. Do you understand? I can't seem to duplicate that map. We've got to get the other one back. I wish that masked friend of yours would hurry up. He's spending too much time in there. If him find out who killer is, time well spent. That's a mighty big if, Indian. Personally, I have much hope that a woman who can't make a sound is suddenly going to blab her head off. You're wrong, Doctor. What do you mean? Granny was able to give me a great deal of information. Are you on the level, mister? You know two men by the name of Bert and Chad? No, I can't say that I do. One was chunky and broad, the other quite tall. That sounds like the two men who jumped me this morning. What about these two men? One of them killed Miss Watson. But that's absurd. Are you trying to say that Granny Ritchie told you the names of these men? That's right. I don't like to call you a liar, mister, but what you're claiming is impossible. She couldn't do that unless she wrote or spoke, and I, I know that she can't do either. You underestimate Granny, Doctor. 
There are other ways to communicate information. What else did she tell you? Not much, Cleve. They killed Miss Watson and took the map, then left. But how are them up and safe? Miss Watson did it. She was working with them. That's not true. Of course it isn't. I personally recommended Stella for this job, and I know that she's above reproach. I don't think Granny was lying to me, Doctor. How could she be lying when she can't even talk? It's too fantastic. In what conceivable way could she tell you the names of these two men? Not two. Three. You mean there was a third man with them? Not with them, Cleve. But apparently the mastermind behind the whole scheme. Granny heard them talking about him. Did she tell you his name? No, she was too exhausted by then. I didn't want to tire her out anymore. While she's regaining her strength, I thought we should go out and look for those other two men. Perhaps they can lead us to the third man. This, uh, this third man, did she tell you anything about him? Don't worry, Doctor, she will. I promise to come back later and continue our conversation. I see. Well, if I can be of any help, you know where to find me. Thanks, Doc. You've been swell. I can hardly believe it. Granny telling you all these things. Does that mean I'll be able to talk to her, too? Yes, Cleve. You will. I only wish she could have told you the name of that third man. She did. But we don't have enough evidence to make it stick. So we're going to let him give himself away. I don't get it. How could that old woman tell him anything? I wish I knew. Are you sure he isn't making the whole thing up? I might have thought so. If he hadn't come out of that room knowing both your names, only she could have told him that. Next thing, she'll be telling him your name. Then we're really cooked. I don't intend to wait until she does. No? Well, what are you going to do? The only thing I can do. Bert, you and Chad get back over to the Ritchie house. Don't let them see you. Hang around a while until you're sure she's alone in her room, then get in there and take care of her somehow. What, and kill that poor old helpless woman? Would you rather she killed you first? That's what'll happen if you let her gab anymore. Now get going. There you are, Granny. Not too warm, I hope. I'm going over to the sheriff's office now and see if I can help. No gunplay. Too noisy. All I needed to see. Now raise your hands. One murder in a day is enough. Oh, my arm! It's broken! Drop gun. It's all over, Cleve. You can come in now. Your plan worked. You trapped him just like you thought you would. It's lucky we moved your grandmother into the living room or she'd be dead by now. Here, another one, Kimasami. Fine, Tano. Well, I'll be glad to get these two. Cleve, can you find some rope? Right away. Them have plenty to answer for. One robbery, one murder. You got no proof against us. I think you'll find that Granny Ritchie will make a very convincing witness in the courtroom. Especially when she testifies which one of you two killed Miss Watson. You can take his word for it. She'll be able to do it. That ain't right, Bert. I'm not going to take all the blame while Jeff's out there digging that treasure for himself. Shut up. But I've seen that Jeff Payton, he wouldn't lift a finger to help either one of you. Well, he's got to see. He's behind this whole thing. He's got that map over in his office right now. Where? Well, I don't know. It's over there somewhere. That's all I wanted to hear you say. How do you and Cleve tie these two up and take them to the sheriff? Cleve, if you don't mind, I'd like to take your grandmother for a little visit. Turn around. Come in. Hello, doctor. I have one of your patients outside. Oh, well, bring him in. Granny Ritchie. What's the matter, doctor? Didn't you ever expect to see her again? But what do you mean? Your two stooges messed the job up badly. What's more, they've done a lot of talking. Enough to send you to jail for life. I'm afraid you don't have much of a case there, mister. Both those men have long criminal records. They're notorious liars. I'll deny everything they say. And I don't think a jury will take their word against mine. Possibly not. But I think a jury will take Granny Ritchie's word against yours. That's why I brought her here to see you. We're back to that nonsense again. She's going to talk. Not talk. Communicate. Oh, yes, like that fellow you were talking about. Tell me, how'd he do it? Quite simple. When questions were asked him, he blinked his eyes. Once for yes and twice for no. Watch Granny's eyes, Doctor. Granny, did you see Bert and Chad kill Miss Watson? Did you hear them say the doctor was their ringleader? Are you afraid to testify against him in court? Well, I think that covers it. Everything except the map. Where do you have it hidden? You win. 
It's in my medicine cabinet, a secret compartment. No tricks, doctor. My gun's still on you. Doctor, you're not going to pay for your crimes by swallowing poison. If anybody takes your life, it'll be the law. Well, Cleve, the town will get us treasure now. Yes, thanks to you two. You sure you can't stay and share it with us? We have other work to do, not need treasure. Good luck, Cleve. Bye, Granny. Oh, wait a minute. I just wanted to tell you that I'm mighty grateful for what you did for Granny. It's good to be able to talk to her again. Know that she hears me. Well, Granny, there they go. I sure wish they could stick around. What is it, Granny? Is there something you want to ask me? About the masked man? What is it you want to know? Who he is? My Granny. He's the man who always helps folks when they need it most. He's the Lone Ranger. I don't feel the power. 